Hi, welcome to Crafts by Doty. On this video, we'll be showing you how to make a storage cabinet that is versatile and can be used in any room in the house. For this project, we will use one sheet of MDF board and one sheet of plywood. As usual, we start our project by reducing the MDF board into a manageable size using the circular saw. On the table saw, we ripped down the board into five pieces. One piece for the top measuring 38 by 16.5 inches, one piece for the bottom measuring 36 by 15.75 inches, and three pieces for the partitioning measuring 44 by 15.75 inches. We then used a scrap piece of MDF board to mark where our central partitioning will be. We did these markings on the bottom and top shelves. To attach the five pieces together, we applied a generous amount of glue, then made pilot holes where we will drive one and a half inch screws to hold the pieces together. This is how the structure is like after attaching the five pieces. On the table saw, so we ripped the plywood into size. We then attach the piece of plywood to the back of the structure using one inch nails and wood glue. On the top part of the cabinet structure, we added some decorative wooden part to allow it to be used for storage purposes. For the base, we did a wooden skirting to protect the MDF from soaking once it comes into contact with water. On one side of the cabinet structure, we added two shells. We will be adding a single door to this side. On the other side, we will make four drawers. Next we attached the door to the cabinet but before we did that we planed it off to kill all the sharp edges. To attach the door hinges we attached a fastener bit on the drill. We marked 4 inches from the bottom and from the top and quarter inch from the edge. We then drilled two holes for the Malfa hinges. Afterwards we attached the hinges using half inch screws.
Since the door was perfectly fitting on the inside, we added a strip of MDF at one edge so that the adjustable part of the Malfa hinges can be attached to it. We did some adjustments on the top and bottom and the door was perfect to go. We later added a chrome handle to the door to complete it. For the second side of the cabinet, we marked the position on which the face of the drawer will be fitting using a piece of MDF. We then attach the drawer rails from the line leaving some space for the drawer face. Afterwards, we attached the sliders which will hold the drawers. We then held it in place using screws. After attaching the drawers, we took a piece of MDF board to check whether the face was perfectly aligned. Off camera, we did cut and attach all drawer faces. On the drawer and door face, we placed two inch marks all round. 